Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, So Stylish with Alcibi. Now I hope that you guys had a great festive season, that you had some time for yourself, that you could do some sewing and that you can relax. And I know when we get to beginning of a new year, we've always got all these goals that we're setting for ourselves. And um, I must say I'm one of them as well. So, but I've made it easy for myself. I have set a goal that for this year, all my commercial patterns that I have, I'm actually going to pull out some of them and I'm going to actually design that pattern with my Surefer Designs. Now, if you're a Surefer Designs customer, you already know that you can alter those patterns using your Surefer Designs Bodders Blueprint. We also have YouTube videos on Glenda's YouTube channel. It's the Surefer Designs channel. And then there's also a DVD that you can get, which is fitting commercial patterns with your Surefer Designs. So that is what I'm going to do and what I will also do is try and maybe share one of those designs once a month with you just so that you can see my process and I think that's going to keep me on track with reaching my goal otherwise um, you know how we are two three months later or later in the year we forget about our goals so that is definitely my goal for this year my personal goal so I don't know what your goals are but you can share it with me. I'd love to hear if you've set yourself some goals as well. Now, when I took a couple of days off during December, um, I love my books. I went and I scratched on my bookshelf and I took a couple of books out that I really wanted to just spend some time with and work it through. And I thought, let's do a bit of a book review and just show you these books that I pulled out. I absolutely love each and every book that I have on my shelf. And, and I think with you guys also being creative people, you also have a bit of crafts and a bit of art and a bit of jewelry making, all of that. Um, and I'm, I'm exactly like that. So I've got about everything. If you look at the picture that I'm showing you of my bookshelf as well, that is just all my hobbies on that on that bookshelf. So, so I enjoy spending some time with my books. I'm going to take you through all these books. I went and I googled some of these book prices as well for my South African customers on the loot.co.za and these books you will be able to find there. So, and some of them I saw is on special as well. So let's go through all the books and I'll tell you what I like about them. I wanted to share three specific books with you. Now, the first book that I wanted to show you is actually a small book, but it's got a lot of pages. It's got over 200 pages, and I'll see now how many pages, 272 pages. But this is an amazing book because it takes us from beginner information all the way to advanced sewist as well. Um, usually what I find with these books is that they just go and give us information either for beginners. Um, seldom do we really get the advanced information that is in this book. Now what I do like about it as well is that I can keep the book flat. It's got this wire binding on there as well. And... It tells you in the introduction how you're going to use this book, how you're going to work with it, because there is just so much information on each page. Now, it's got all your cutting tools, all your tools you're going to need, so that section I'm going to skip. But what I wanted to show you is it's got a stitch directory, and what it does, it covers hand stitches and sewing machine stitches as well. And the hand stitches, again, it's from a plain running stitch, and it takes you all the way through more advanced stitches that we're going to need. Um, there's herringbone stitch, it's got your bar tacks, fringe tacks, um, slip tacking. And if you look at this as well, can you see that each page is a technique? So you don't have pages and pages of one technique. It is really condensed, but it gives you so much information on one page. If I go and look at, for instance, pad stitching, it tells you everything. If we look at additional information, you can see what the photo looks like. It tells you the application. Um, fabric is for use on tailoring canvases and all weights of suiting. Gives you needle and stitch size, alternative methods, pressing and finishing for that fair fabric. And then when it goes into machine stitching as well, it covers really everything. Stretch stitching, blind hem, tacking, 
overcasting all of that now if we look at the textile section she's got all sorts of fabric again for us and if we look for instance how this will work on the chiffon it's got two fabrics per page again it's giving you information on the fabric type it's telling you what sort of garments will we sew with it it gives us a cutting out how you're going to cut it out and it gives you sewing suggestions and in the sewing suggestions it tells you your stitch length what size needle you're going to use so all of that information is in there then if we start looking at fabric manipulation Fabric manipulation is basically all your seams, your fringe seams, flat felt seams, hairline seam, bone seams, taped seams, um, exposed seams. So really Hong Kong finish. I can just carry on and on with all the seams that it's got. Then it's got a section on um, pleats, which is also really, it even gives us twin needle tucks. But look at the pleats. It gives us inverted pleats, box pleats. And if we look again, tells you the steps these are the steps it tells you again all the sewing tips that you need when you are going to make that pleat knife pleats um, so i'm just going to go through to more to the back here is lining a jacket it's giving us information of that lining a chanel style jacket so look at the information there's a lot of hand sewing there as well so it's got our advanced information it's got all your different pocket styles it's got information on press studs, um, handwork buttonholes, buttonholes, collar styles, um, straps, shoestring straps, halter necks. Um, this is really, I'm going to need so much time if I had to show you everything in this book. But this is an amazing book to have. Now, if you want to order this, you can get this at Loot. And at Loot at the moment, this book is going for 384 Rand. The next book that I wanted to show you was the dressmaking book. Now, I think it was November or December sometime around there on my Facebook page. I actually shared information on this book. I saw this book on special and I also went and Googled now Loot has also got it on special still. It's for 260 Rand. Now, this is a great buy. What you will see, it is a really thick book. It's got almost 300 pages and what I love about this book, it's almost like our pattern books in the fabric stores. Everything is color coded. So um, if you look at mending and repairs over the jacket sewing is orange, then I can see um, tops is the, the turquoise color. So everything is color coded for us to actually make it easier. Now, with this book as well, there is some downloadable patterns for you. So all the patterns that is actually used in this book, all the steps and techniques that she shares with you, you can do using the downloadable patterns. So all the information will be in the beginning on downloading the patterns, where you've got to go to to get the patterns. Now, all these books always have the tools and materials. So I'm just going to skip that section. Again, in her book as well, there's a lot of information on fabrics. And I love it when a book starts sharing the fabrics with us because it gives me so much information on the cutting out. What seam finish will I do? What thread can I use? What needles am I going to, you know, what pressing do I do on this as well? So all this information I find always so interesting. Um, and you can see with this, she's really done a lot of wool fabrics as well. Your chambray corduroy denim um, these satins look at this big section that she's got on your fabrics and then there's an information on pat patterns and cutting out i'm actually going to skip this section as well i wanted to show you what you actually sew in this book so it just gives you a bit of fitting information over there and then general techniques it covers general techniques and with the general techniques again there's stitches for hand sewing um, I'm, I'm really enjoying my hand sewing at the moment. Uh, it just helps me relax sometimes. So we've got machine stitches and seams. Um, all of that information is there. She's got all these techniques, how you're going to reduce seam bulk on an outer curve. Um, it's got a little bit of dot information. So all your general sewing techniques, it's quite a big section. Let's just get this color coding there. All of this is all about basic sewing techniques, even how to cover your buttons, um, all of that. 
But what is really for me, what made me buy this book was all the patterns that we get with this book. Now, if you look at this page, this is your skirt. So there is three skirt patterns that you're going to download and each one has got a variation that you can make with that specific pattern. And when she's going to take you further into the skirt section you can see it's your classic a-line and she takes you through the steps of sewing it there's your button front a-line skirt so again she shows you what changes are you going to do to the pattern so those are the skirts that's in there if we go look at the dresses just look at what we can do with the dress patterns from this book now again there is four um, different patterns but look again all of these are going to be what you can make by just adapting your pattern so all together it gives us 12 different styles you've even got a waisted cocktail dress a long empire line dress you've got a shirt dress over there we've got a sleeveless empire dress short sleeved waist waisted dress uh, a shift dress so again all the information again on how to sew the dresses Let's look and show you the next part, which was all the trousers. So with the trousers, there's two trouser patterns and it gives you those variations as well. So you can do your classic palazzo trousers. There's the palazzo shorts. You've got cropped cigarette trousers and your classic cigarette trouser as well. And all your steps over there. So it's just... The way she's done it with all the photos, look at all the photos, it's just a beautiful book. And then lastly, we've got tops and jackets. Let's open the tops. Let's just go one page back. So if we look at the tops, again, you've got the classic shell top and a classic princess line blouse. And these are the variations. You've got a tie neck top, long sleeve tunic and a short sleeve blouse with all the information on sewing these tops and then lastly we've got jackets if we look at the jackets we've got the two patterns we've got the classic boxy jacket and a classic blazer and from those two patterns you can do the boxy jacket with a collar or a cropped blazer again now all these and from all this information again step by step how to make your classic boxy jacket um, and here's your boxy jacket with a collar. So I, I don't know guys, but I think, I really think this book is worth its 260 Rand. If you are really looking for a nice book. Um, then it's got mending and repairs. I must say that's the area that I skip, but it's even got information on there and then embellishing a dress with sequins and beads. So even that information is they adding a ribbon trim to a cardigan. So this is really, for me, an amazing book. The last book that I wanted to share with you was The Geometry of Hand Sewing. Now I've got the Natalie Shannon books. I've actually got three of her books. I, I absolutely love her books. I'm not going to go through these two books at the moment because I really wanted to just show you that one. But for me, it's almost like coffee table books. She tells you how she started sewing. Um, you know, she is a fashion designer. She does create jobs for women so that they can work from home while they're looking after the children. But um, her style is just amazing. If we look at her reverse applique that she's doing. Also look at this garment, for instance. Everything is hand sewn, so it's so beautiful. Now, both of these books include these two books include her patterns one is in cd format one is paper pattern pieces and one of these books also have stencil designs in there which you can go to a copy shop copy it and just in you know make the size bigger for you to use but this book i specifically got for hand sewing i'm really being i don't know i'm getting more and more into the hand sewing i used to never do hand sewing but I'm enjoying it. It's relaxing. And also doing her style. And look at that photo. There's just amazing stuff that she's doing by using all these hand stitches to embellish, let's say, embellish the garments. Now, the first chapter of this is actually, guys, just look at that. All the hand sewing. I just wanted to show you. It is such a different way of sewing. Um, look at that garment as well. Just imagine a t-shirt or or even a cardigan and you've done it up like this so chapter one is all about the new way 
to think about sewing and embroidery and she takes you through um, you know how this book is going to work with this book specifically there is a grid at the back let's just talk about that so if we look at this there's two plastic pieces I'm trying to see if we can see it let me rather just put my hand and it's got this sewing grid and it will tell you there's a square grid here's your diamond grid rectangle grid um, so there's all these two grids which is going to help you to do the stitch because you just have to go and take your marking pen and just go mark these little dots and then she takes you through all the stitches you can do so in the beginning she explains to you the grid how the grid works she goes through tools what tools you are going to need again just look at this you can take a stencil a bit of fabric paint and you can create the most beautiful garments just by giving a little bit of detail to it if you look at this i'm sure if you've been following me remember when we did the machine embroidery instead of doing this by hand we digitized it and we actually brought it into our machine embroidery and we got the same look as well but with this one i just wanted to show you some of the stitches so here is really a closed feather stitch closed blanket stitch there is a lot of stitches in this book and she encourages you to actually go and try each one to make a little sample for yourself and go and put it in a binder so that when you are making these garments you can actually see what the what the actual stitch looks like so there's a straight stitch hem stitch um, look at these isn't this amazing i just love this book so this covers all your different de decorative stitches so this is all your just this two pages all your herringbone variations look at that um, so if you are into hand sewing and if you do like the look of alabama shannon i'm going to tell you to actually go get yourself this book um, if you want to spoil yourself actually get a couple of her books because i think you need one of her other books just to take you through the techniques that she is doing as well so i just can never talk enough about alabama shannon she's got amazing books so this was really for me one that i really enjoyed working through on my holiday but if you are going to go for this definitely look for one of these books um, they are amazing with all the techniques that she shares um, look at this for instance just look at that hand stitching as well and all the designs if we look at that is covered in these books now the books i shared with you today is really just my general sewing books that i have i will definitely make a point of it in maybe in a month's time just go through all my pattern design books i have got a load of pattern design books and i just love browsing through them for ideas so i will definitely make a point of sharing that with you if you are into any other crafts as well please just maybe leave a comment and tell me because then if you're into beads or anything like that i can show you some of my books that i've got as well on all the other crafts um, it's always nice to see someone else's books because when you are going online and you're just looking at a book you never really know what's inside and um, you know just seeing the inside of the book is going to help you decide do you want to add that book to your collection so i really hope that you enjoyed going through these books now if you are new to my channel i'm going to ask you to please subscribe just look at the bottom on the right hand side of your screen there will be a subscribe button please go subscribe and then you can also click on the notifications and maybe just choose all notifications that way you'll know when i'm adding my videos as well for this year i'll be carrying on with my tuesday tips i'll do about twice a month i'm going to do the friday feature and i'm also planning on maybe doing one or two projects every couple of months with you as well just a free project so we can all sew together so that is all i wanted to share with you today you guys must have a lovely week and wherever you are i hope you make some time for yourself and that you also get some sewing done or even just sit with your books and just go through your books for some ideas until next time